the end of every month, I do this video, which is a wrap up video where I tell you about the books that I read in the last month and what I think about them. So it's a mini reviews come wrap up video, and let's get started with that. Hi there, I'm Manpreet. I make book related videos on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe, follow me on my social media, and turn your notifications on so that you get notified every time I post a bookish video. Now, this also happens to be a video where I like to talk a lot to my family, and I also intend to give all the information all the updates about my booktube life in this video so it might turn chatty but i would wrap up you know the books that i've read quickly so that i can just start talking which i love to do to begin with i did a tbr video in the beginning of the month and i announced that i would be reading a lot of fantasy and i managed to stick to fantasy except for one book because i was already reading it from the last month january and it happens to be a romance novel so number one book that i finished reading last month was the fault in a star by john green it's a contemporary young adult romance novel about these two kids who are suffering through cancer and it's a story about them and it's so 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 beautiful i know a lot of you kept asking me to read this book and i never ever ended up reading it but now that i've read it i really am willing to do a full review of this book because it's so 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 beautiful and a lot of you told me that it's very heartbreaking okay yes it is heartbreaking of course and you know the whole premise is very heartbreaking but I felt like it was also funny at times. I felt like it's also entertaining and it's really enjoyable. And obviously this book got 4 out of 5 stars, 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really, really like this book. Want to talk more about it, but it will happen in my review video. And I plan to do my reviews. I won't say I would stick to the plan, but I plan to do my reviews on every Saturday. So let's see how that goes. So the overall number of books that I read last month is quite less as compared to last to last month that is in january i read seven books this month only three but yes i was reading other fantasy novels as well for example i started harappa trilogy by vineet bajpai i did not really finish even the first book got a little bored so ended up with one series that i really wanted to reread and finish reading the Model Instrument series by Cassandra Clare. This happens to be the first book in the Model Instrument series. I have made a review video about it. I'll link it down below. Basically, I had read this book already, but to begin with the series, to actually get the hang of the Shadow Hunter world, to actually get to know all of the characters once again and you know feel connected to them, I had to begin with the first book. And I'm so happy I did because I am already done with about 200 pages of this book, City of Ashes, and I am so glad glad I started rereading the Model Instrument series because I'm loving it so 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 much and seriously because I want to do book talks of these videos I'm noticing so many awesome things that I missed last time which is why I always ask you guys to give a chance to rereading pick up your favorite books you do not have to run the race of reading more and more books you can just go back to your old books and enjoy them it's fine it's okay it should be done I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely doing it. Apart from that, I was working with one author this month and I'm so glad I was working with this author. I mean, last month was slightly not so good, but this month, this book is something which I really loved by Death Defined by Hugo Dummers. A story where French are marching towards Ireland, Belfast, and they are attacking them. There's magic in it, science fiction in it, and the war is happening and you follow this family. And the way this book is written, it's awesome. I have already done a review of this book. I'll link it down below. Do not forget to check it out because I love this book so much and it's very short, easy to read. I feel like when I'm reading a book on Kindle, because it's available as an ebook, when I'm reading a book on Kindle, I feel like I read faster. So yeah, go ahead and read this. A lot of you are like, man, please, but I prefer paperbacks. Give Kindle a try. You do not really have to pick one. I read books on Kindle. I listen to audiobooks. I read paperbacks. I read hardbacks. You do not have to be choosy when it comes to reading. Just to read as much as you can however you can and i also think you should count to the 400 extra pages that i read 200 pages of city of ashes and about 200 pages of harappa trilogy that makes one book right so you can count four books <laughs> Now coming to talking to you guys about my booktube life because I really want to talk to you guys more often. I definitely believe I missed a couple of uh, days but I'm getting my life back together and please be patient with me. I try to stick to my schedule as much as I can. 
so in the beginning of the month i put up my mini book reviews video and then followed by fantasy tbr which was obviously something you guys knew manpreet ji there's no way you can do it in one month but i'm really thankful to all of you who said manpreet you can still do it but that reading slump so this month was not that good of a reading month because i was going through this slump where i didn't feel like reading and it took a lot of time to get out of it i did a live chat after so 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 long this month i actually felt like live chats are not that good i didn't really feel like doing live chats since a long time but i always miss the connection between you guys and me because i really love talking to you guys there's a reason why i reply to every single comment because i'm not here to get subscribers i'm here to talk to people so talking to you guys really makes me happy and doing that live chat i feel like man pre stop caring about the video quality and you know how good your watch time would be or how good the numbers would be just do what you want to do and that's what i have been doing so live chat was awesome thank you so much for joining all the people who joined and all the people who watched later on that's also really cool thank you so much for doing that for me <laughs> surprisingly i did three book reviews this month one was nastya book review which was a book that i read last month in january and then city of bones and by death defined and after that i did one another rant video and i love doing rant videos i'm so happy to have done that and i'm so thankful to all of you who actually watched those videos if you haven't watched any of these videos please go and check it out because that would inspire me to make more videos in the next month and let me know what you want me to talk about in the next month please comment down below with some questions you have for me with some experiences you want me to share with you so please comment down below with your video requests and i'm going to do it apart from that i really needed to sort out the business side of booktube where is like you know doing the book reviews and stuff like that and i found that i needed to change some stuff there so i so i have changed my book review program once again yes i keep doing that it worked very fine for about one and a half years but now i felt like i needed a change so i changed some stuff about it basically now i do not want to promote the books that i do not like so i am giving a chance for the authors to actually just take my time have me read their book and i can give them my honest feedback and then if they want me to talk to you guys about their book then i can talk about that and otherwise they can just do whatever they want and it's not really related to you guys as a viewer but you guys know that i have always kept things very transparent so i have always talked about how i do my book reviews and blah 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 everything so i changed this and i felt like i need to inform you guys about it basically i really am sick of the how the authors deal with you when you do not have a very good review for them the whole structure of my book review program is where i tell them very straightforwardly that you know what i may dislike this book and i am not going to change a single word from my book review and a lot of authors i really respect the authors who have been very nice to me i i know i have given one and two stars to some authors and they took it so gracefully i love you guys for that i feel like you are the grown ups out there but there are still kids out there who would just torment you for i don't know what because i am not changing anything i am not changing a word from my review you can attack my ego you can attack my self respect you can attack my confidence as much as you want you can tell me i don't know how to review books you can tell me i my channel is not growing because i'm such a bad person you can tell me that i do not have an english literature degree so i cannot review books you can say, you can say anything you want okay but i am not budging but at the same time it really takes the precious amount of hours from my life because you know even though they cannot incite an action from me it runs in my mind waste my time because if i'm thinking about these stuff if i'm thinking about the hurtful stuff people do just for this especially when they have already been warned plenty of times about what's going to happen and how it's going to happen they still do it really takes away the precious amount of time from your life and i feel like i do not want to give that time to other people i can give that time to you guys to my vlogging channel to my job which earns me money but i cannot give that time to authors like those okay good authors i love you guys i love you guys okay talk to me maybe you wrote a terrible book that nobody should be reading but i understand when you expect a positive review from any book reviewer my side is also there i cannot really give a dishonest review because the only reason why the author is coming to me for a review is because you guys follow me you guys trust my recommendations and if i start giving bad recommendations if i start being dishonest i lose you guys i lose that work as well so i don't know how hard it can be for a person to understand that it's not something i do to personally attack you i do not do i do not give you a two star or three star review to personally attack you i do that 
because I need to do that because I exist. Indian booktuber exists because she does that. Trying to find a solution about that. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. But what I have done is that now authors can come to me and have me read their book and give them a proper feedback like beta readers work. I can give them the proper feedback, write the review. You guys would not know about it. That would be on the back end. And after that, if the author wants me to tell you guys about the book as well, then we can go ahead with that as well. But yes, Manpreet doesn't believe in doing anything for free unless you are selling your book to the world for free forever. <laughs> I'm not going to do it for free. So charges remain very much the same. No difference since over two years. You guys are very important and you guys should be kept in the loop. So now that I have told you, please wish for me that this works because I do not want to go through another reading slump for non-bookish reasons. And yes, that's it for today's wrap up video, wrap up of my February month and I'm really hopeful and I really hope you are wishing for me that I make more videos in March, not miss a single day in March. Please wish that for me and if you're wishing that for me, hit a thumbs up. And I told you when I make a video, all of these people start making noise. Everybody starts making noise. And then some of you are like, why are you shouting? I have to shout because that Sabji Wale louder than me how will you hear me if that sabji wala's voice is more louder than me i have to be loudest anyway this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed watching it i'll see you in the comments on below this month is signing off i'll be back with another video on what's today thursday on saturday bye every time i make a video and if I'm not sitting on my bean bag, my foot goes to sleep. Any ideas on how to not let it happen? By the way, thank you for hating my last background. I'm back to the old one. That was my office. It's not set yet, but you guys hated my last background. I was so hurt, so hurt that I lost my juta. Which reminds me, if you like all these dramas I do, please follow my vlogging channel, okay? Life of Manpreet on YouTube. I also talk about books a little bit on that channel. All the hidden stuff that you guys don't get to see. Only blogging channel subscribers get to see. Found it. It was on the other foot.